tricot. So we thought we'd show you really quick how to use this tricot lace icing and the tricot lace mats. We've posted some pictures on Facebook, but a lot of people are asking how it works. So here we go. So I've measured out 100 grams, so a third of the package of the tricot lace icing. And I've added 80 grams of warm water. That's Lucas in the background. I've added 80 grams of warm water. And just so we can see it easier, I've also added a couple drops of airbrush color to it, but I've taken that into account in my liquid weight measurements. So I'm just going to throw that onto the mixer real quick. mixture it's not sticky we tasted it it smells like caramel it has a little bit of a grainy texture I'm gonna take my baking sheet and I've started to preheat the oven just to a low temperature I've heated it to about 178 degrees and I put my lace mat down Grab some lace icing. Now this is a third of the package, and last night with a third of the package when we played with it, we did one of these lace molds and two cupcake molds, and we still had about this much left over, so we could probably get another two cupcake molds out of it. So I'm just gonna spread it down the mat. Most of this is going to come off in the end. We'll take a bench scraper and spread it across. on those end parts. You really don't need much. I'll just clean it up one more time. Okay, so I'm going to go throw it in the oven and it's going to bake in the oven for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so while the lace one's in the oven, I thought we'd fill the cupcake one as well. This was the first one we tried last night and everybody loved it. So this icing does need to be baked in the oven and that's what the lace one is doing right now. We'll put the cupcake one in too. So there's no waiting time in terms of waiting for hours or overnight or anything for this to set up. We will be able to take it out of the mold as soon as it comes out of the oven. the top. 
top. So it's really easy to touch up what you missed. It's not sticky, so I'm not struggling to get it into the mold. No. Just smearing it across, and we'll go put this one in the oven too. Okay, so they've been in the oven for about seven minutes. Let me just grab the other pan. We left the lace one in a little longer, and the back of the package will tell you how long based on the size of the mold. And the pan's hot, but the silicone cools fast enough that it's hot to pick up, but it, I can handle it. And lift it right off the tray. And you can see it's pulling away at the edges. You can see this is where I didn't quite get it clean at the bottom. But if you just flip them over, they will press right out. Now, the back of the package does say to let them set in the mold for 10 minutes before removing them. We actually found that by leaving them set in the mold, we were better to remove them immediately after they came out of the oven because the dryness of the oven made them less tacky to handle. So, and we can just break these pieces off. So we actually have been removing them immediately out of the oven, not waiting the 10 minutes like the package instructions say. So there's our cupcakes. You can see they're very flexible. You'll be able to form them if you want them to dry in a certain shape. There's also butterflies in the line of one, so if you want to form them in a V to dry. And now the lace. So I'm gonna flip this right over, lay it down, and just pull back. And the other one. And again, it's very durable, very flexible. It's not like other laces where we've gotten it stuck to itself, it comes right apart. I can still move it for quite a while. We attached it last night to the side of an old class cake here with just a tiny little bit of water on the back. And as a uh, as it was drying, I just kind of chased it with my fingers. So this is the piece that we just put on last night. So if you're gonna attach some to a cake, you just pick it up. And I was just running a little bit of water along the top edge, whatever edge I'm gonna attach. And again, because it's so durable, I don't have to worry about it sticking to itself as I attach it or ripping as I try to handle it. And these are some cupcakes we made last night. So they have dried overnight. So you, they would be stiff enough to put into the top of a cupcake. We played with them last night while they were still wet. And we mixed some alcohol with some uh, luster dust. And we were able to paint them without them dissolving, which was really nice. Um, and then you can see these ones from that we just did now. They're still flexible, but they're not falling apart in my hands. They're not sticky. They're keeping their shape even with me holding on to them. And same as the lace. I can move it around and it's not going to lose its shape or stick to itself beyond usability. 